With Team of the Year around the corner, now is the best time to make coins in FIFA 23. And in this video, I'm going to be giving you a comprehensive guide on making FIFA coins. So let's start off with the first one. What you want to do is something called club stocking. Now, you might hear me say that and think, Lewis, what the hell are you going on about? But let me explain. Club stocking is where you go and fill up your club with players who aren't really going for anything, but in the future could go for a lot. For example, this is a really easy way to do some club stocking. What you want to do is just come over here to any of these top nine nations and pick anyone at random. So I'm going to go and pick Italy. Make sure your quality is on gold common and make sure your position is on centre back. And then what you want to do is basically go and try and buy these for as cheap as you possibly can do. So you can see at the minute that these are insta selling for about 500 coins. Basically any of these players, say for example you can get them at like 400 coins or under, as long as you keep them in your club there's a potential that they might be needed at some point in this game. So for example I've just bought this Regani at like 400 coins. So what I would do with him is I would come over here and say for example I didn't already have a duplicate I would chuck him into the club or what I can do then is just sell him on at say like 500 600 coins But the plan with this is is to buy these and keep them in your club as soon as they're needed for a squad building challenge They will go up a hell of a lot in value for example Regani at the minute his average price is probably about 700 coins So I'm already in profit but say for example he gets needed for an SBC say there's a requirement that needs Italian centre-backs from Juventus this guy I could be going to 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 500, whatever price. If he's needed for an SBC, he's going to the moon. And if you want to build the best team possible in FIFA 23, make sure to go and buy some coins from Mule Factory. Use that code LE5G. The reason why I'm telling you about this now is, is because over Team of the Year, we're going to get loads of different SBCs. Now, there's two things that people want from FIFA. The first one is going to be packs. The second one is going to be the best players. So it's important that you go and stock up any of these players that may be needed for these different SBCs. For example, the Brazilian ones, these are going for an average of 550. Pick them up for 400 coins or lower, and I guarantee you that you will always make profit. Now, you might be thinking, all right, cool, center backs are cool, but I've got like, I don't know, 100,000, 200,000 coins. I don't want to just keep buying and selling players at 400 coins. Lewis, what do I do? Let me explain. So another thing that we're going to get over Team of the Year is probably upgrade SBCs. Now, the main thing that I would recommend to go and invest in from this, say for example, you've got a spare 50,000 coins, 100,000, 200,000, whatever it may be. I would actually go and pick up some players who are in scarce positions with good leagues and good nations. Think the Premier League, La Liga, Ligue 1, Bundesliga, you get the point. And scarce positions, I mean like left backs, right backs, left mids, right mids. And what you need to do is then go and pick them up and keep them in your club. Now, if you can find anything which is sort of a cheap price. Now, I always go to Ben Chilwell because he's usually a good player to do this with. I'll be honest, I've not checked his price. But for example, with these players, you need to try and find them at the absolute minimum price. So for example, with Ben Chilwell, he's going at 750 coins. Admittedly, he's not in left back and he's changed. I used to use him when he was left back. He's left wing back now, so he won't be as good. But you pick them up at 750 coins and likewise to that first method you're going to be keeping them in your club if we get any SBCs that need these cards these are going to skyrocket because like I said there's two things that people want in this game and that's packs and the best players the only way to do that without spending a lot of money is SBCs think about it. Now another area that you definitely need to look at and this is a method which has made me millions of coins in the previous years and I go into this into a lot of detail in my recently released trading course. If you want the link to that there's a link in the description. But I will give you some free sauce in the meantime. Do not worry yourself. Now fodder trading is basically where you come onto the market and you find players who have got a good rating who don't go for a lot for that rating. For example anyone who's like say they're like 85, 86, 87 rated and you think well well, that card's like high rated, but it's trash. Typically, that player will be a fodder player. So, a good example of someone who is a fodder player is someone like Thiago Silva. Realistically, this card is an 86 rated card. On paper, he should be good, but he's got 49 person. Absolutely woeful stats. So, for what? example, with him, he's someone who fluctuates a lot depending on SBC. So, the way that fodder works is when we get a big SBC or something where people can put like loads of players into an SBC, think like the 83 times 10 SBC that we recently had. People will rush onto the market and buy these kind of players, and they'll be like, "Oh my god, I've not prepared for this. I need to buy these players." And what happens is, is the supply increases and the demand lowers, meaning that the price goes. 
up. So players like Thiago Silva on one day may be going for like 9,000 coins, but on another day could be going for a hell of a lot. Now, if that kind of sauce doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. So then you might be thinking, well, how the hell am I going to determine when to buy this card? What's going to make a card go down in price? So I mentioned it before, supply and demand. Now, the time when there is supply is when we get loads of lightning rounds. Over team of the year, we are going to get a ton. So for example, you keep an eye on these promo packs. Now, these kind of packs, these Centurions packs or any of this untradeable stuff, I don't care about, right? That all, if it ever says all items are untradeable, the market will not be affected. The reason for that is, is because people are getting them and they're not tradable. So it's not putting supply onto the market. So say, for example, we get like a 125k lightning round and all the stuff's tradable. This stuff is going to drop. So you need to pick it up and then sell it on when it's more expensive. Just please, please try this. You will make yourself millions. So for this next section, I'm in the SBC section because I want to talk about something called link investing. Now, chemistry in FIFA 23 is the most confusing thing ever. I've been playing this game since September and I still don't know how it works. So what Link Investing is, is when we get a new SBC that's actually desirable by the community and not just something which you're putting out just to fill up content. What happens is a lot of people will complete that SBC. Now for the more obscure SBCs, maybe people are a bit harder to link. Maybe like for example, this Mkhitaryan, this guy is impossible to link. He's Armenian and he's from Inter. Who are you going to buy who's going to link to this without building a full Serie A team? But say, for example, this guy was a bit more desirable. Maybe he had better links or maybe he was from a better league or whatever it may be. People will complete this SBC and if he was overpowered, he will go pretty pretty popular on Footbin, on Twitter, on everything. So the more people that complete this SVC, the more people will need a player who links to that card because they're going to put it into the team and they want it on full chemistry. This is where link investing comes in. We can talk about Mkhitaryan, but realistically, this is a perfect example. So we had a Politano over the winter wildcards coming in at a 126k value, right? So what actually happened to other players from Napoli who were sort of winning a similar caliber similar price range to that Politano. If we go down here, take a look at this. Look how much some of these cards go up by. So on Wednesday, the 4th of January, this card was coming in at 32,000 coins. And on Thursday, the 5th of January is when the Politano card came out. And look at what happens to this guy's price. He goes up to 50,000 coins and then he goes all the way as high as 59,000 coins. Two days ago, this card was chilling at 34,000 coins. And as a result of that, it's really important that you try and keep on top of any new SBCs that are coming out. EA are going to release a lot of content. They really are. Trust me, this team of the year is going to be probably the biggest ever. So what you need to be doing is looking at these players and thinking, right, this SBC has just come out, right? What are people thinking about this? Do they enjoy this? Right. I need to get on this quick and I need to go and buy some players who link to this player because people will want to use them. If any players come out on say like a Tuesday, Wednesday, that's perfect because the weekend league will be coming up. So typically on that Thursday, when we get division rivals rewards, people will start to pick up some of these players because they've got more coins. But if you can be ahead of the curve, you'll be making yourself an absolute fortune over team of the year. I'm telling you now, and this is perfect. If you've got like a million coins, put them into these cards. And honestly, you will be absolutely laughing. You'll never need to buy FIFA points again. But if you go through every single method that I have spoken about in this video, you will make yourself millions of FIFA coins. Boys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to go and watch another one. You will absolutely love it. And don't forget, I have got more videos on the way during Team of the Year. Oosh.